Hello YouTube, this is Grafrog and welcome back into our Getty campaign. In the last part we deal uh, peace duty with the Trapezos and we are still at war with uh, the Arden up there and I think they are going all the way over here. And we have our military allies over there. So what we will start immediately is to try to bring these guys into war against them so that we can have like a buffer zone in the east and a stronger ally. So we'll try to bring them into that war. We will offer them a whole bunch of money. That's my bad. Something like that. Hopefully they will. And they join. That's perfect. And we will actually help them into this war to uh, kind of attack the settlement before them so that they can easily take it and continue their campaign. So let's start moving uh, right now. Excellent. And after we'll just take them too because they're probably they're probably weak, they're starving for a few turns, I do believe. And over here we will Actually I should have started over here. We will disband these guys. And I think instead we'll go with two units of cavalry. Or at least one. So that we can bring some cav units into these armies. In the east uh, west actually. Alright, let's go there. With the fleet over here we can go into Yadr to protect it from the Venetians that will probably attack on the next turn since they have no more settlements left. And over here uh, I think we will replenish a little bit. Yeah, we'll wait at least one turn. And also before starting recording what I did is that I sent uh, two diplomats. One into uh, the Macedians of the all the way up there to hopefully gain the settlement that we have in uh, Cisalpania, something like that. And I did the same uh, in the in the east with, uh, I think it's the Kartli, so that we can have the, the full uh, province up north. I think it's Ponto City and something uh, province, that one over here that we can see in the corner. We'll just take a look at the name to be sure. Over here I think we'll go with the civil. Hopefully we are in the civil right now. No. So we'll finish that one because, uh, well, it's good for the stats. Minus 5% on attack and defense. And then we'll go into the civil research. Alright, I just want to know what's the name of the province over there. Is that one. Uh, Poto Caspia, actually. Alright, over here we can build some stuff. Public order is fine. So I guess we can start building... Is it commerce? I think so. Yes, commerce. Maybe we can try to see if we have something interesting. Maybe research could be good. Or we could go actually with the farmer's market, which boosts agriculture and commerce. So we'll go into that route. Over here we can upgrade this because why not? Well, money is not uh, too abundant, so we'll wait. That we will upgrade stuff like this over here. Uh, I think this is the... Okay, this is agriculture. I guess we can have something for the, yeah, well from all sources, will be good. Go back down here. Are they at war? Not really. Not sure what they want to do. Anyway, we'll just attack. As you can see, it's uh, an easy auto's result, so let's do this. We'll stab, and we will... Actually, we could liberate also Armenia and... I have kind of a little alliance league in that area, so maybe we'll do that. Sure, why not? I don't think we were at war with them, so... So maybe I have, at some point, a trade partner. And we can replenish also, so let's keep moving. Over there we could subjugate. I guess we can subjugate kind of that area, and... Since that we could have many allies. It'll be uh, stable enough for us. Uh, over here... Let's go with Tactician, so we can move a little bit more. Over here we can have... Oh, Bowman. Uh, Boarsman. That could be good. He actually... Uh, will this ban one of you? Actually, I think we'll go with the Piltast. No, never mind. Got kind of confused over there, but it's fine. Two of you. Thank you. And then we'll go for this guys, I guess. Are we starving them? Not yet. Will they starve? No, they won't. Okay, so that's a bad move. Next turn, I guess we'll go down south over here because at some point we'll go for Sparta. We'll probably probably be our 
for a squeak target. Or maybe at them, since they are like alone. How's the food status over there? Yeah, we could starve them and easily take items. But we'll see. Okay, money is kind of short over here. Over there we can finish the Venetians. Right over the way. Nice and easy. Excellent. Let's kill them. Alright, and we can retreat back into our settlement. Perfect. Now over here we don't have a whole bunch of money, so I guess we will wait again. Alright, let's wait. And we'll have to let some armies because I feel like you know, the, Kel the Celts up north, the three factions that are allied, they will probably come for us. Not a piece 3D, but no. color it moral that's good and we can go for the civil research uh, we have three turns so I guess that will make sense we can find a nice three turn re return research that will be good okay we have almost nothing in the technologies I guess we could go for the cultural conversion but the turn is kind of a long commitment I guess we'll go over here you know what let's go for the culture it's kind of important since uh, Balkan is not uh, it's not a really uh, popular culture in that uh, in the map so over here I think we'll go with these guys and we'll let them as the garrison. We'll start to march up to Noria just to see. And that army over here. Right, right there. They are good to go. Excellent. We'll bring the spy into Sparta. I guess we'll take a little look into Pella. Who's there? Here, Tribali, it's not too bad. And over here, I guess we have the money to recruit some troops. Yeah, I wanted to bring some archers, but I guess we'll have to wait a little bit. We'll do a whole bunch of spears and... Maybe it will be a good uh, a good formation, I don't know. We'll see. Um, this is a pretty good. We have an army somewhere there. I guess we will declare war on these guys. So both of them should join. Well, hopefully. They are starving, that's not too good. I am the knife in the dark. Anyway. For the tribe. Let's see if they're weak. So we'll send the scout How first. To work, then. I thought they were starving like not that long ago. Ready for battle. Also Garrison. Nothing too impressive, so I guess we'll have a nice Let's fight over try. here. Yeah, let's go. Oh yeah, we have these with them. I totally forgot about that. Uh, do we have military access? If we can have this, that could be useful. We'll let them be then. We do have military access. Alright, that's perfect. Never mind. We'll just continue then. Excellent. And our scout can go here too. And we are pretty much done for this turn. Hopefully we'll have some action soon. Kind of peaceful so far. Alright, excellent. Even the turn was quiet, no. No notification or anything. So in two turns we'll be ready to besiege this. We'll bring two armies. Right here we are pretty much ready. Ready for battle. Move out. Let's go for the pay. Because we can. Over here. Alright. Only one turn. So I guess we can kind of start moving. On the move, lads. Let's recruit a bit more. There we go. Scout is on its way. Alright, we're waiting there. Some over here. 
But there we have a bit of money, so we can recruit. Uh, what will be good? We can have some horses over here, so let's get them. And some archers, sure. And that will be pretty good, I think. Excellent. Right here, we're good, we're good. Let's go all the way up there. Let's scout first. Oh, it's Ray, so... Let's attack this. We'll auto resolve. And we will just sack it. Uh, just to be sure, yeah, we did not capture. And let's retreat. Actually, just to be sure, we set that target up here. We'll go replenish a little bit up there, or maybe here. Well, no, they're starving, so up there. Done. Now, the fleet is pretty good. I guess we'll bring them back down here. Let's row a little bit. Good. And I think we're good for this turn. Gonna invest a little bit of money. So let's take a little round. Alright, let's go with some farms over here. Next turn we'll build another farm. Well, the cattle pens, I think. The next turn we'll be uh, able to go at war. And we will finally put uh, our hand on some iron. Which should help us uh, quite a bit. Hopefully we have the shield maker already uh, built in it. Uh, let's have the adoption. Excellent. Now, we have an army up here, excellent. I think we will march with that one, if we can reach. Yes, we can. Alright, let's go up here. Nothing too impressive so far. Alright. Let's declare war. This is for effect. We will answer call. And since we have most the, the most cavalry over here, this is why I chose that army to reinforce. Get and also we'll go with fortified stance, boost a little bit the defenses. And that should be pretty good. But about half that uh, of the uh, this army composition is cavalry, so that should be pretty good. Oh god, I wanted to fight. Okay, I don't know what I did. Sorry about that. I guess next turn we will attack. I guess they will attack and we won't be able to reinforce, I guess. That will be a little bit stupid. Yeah, exactly. Oh well, it'll be easy to defend. Seems to be nothing too hard to fight. Some chosen swordsmen, but overall, should be good. Alright, for this battle we have a pretty much uh, a very defensive position. I kind of use the checker as uh, for the spears. Then I fill them with some archers in the middle, up here. And the flanks are protected by the skirmish the skirmishers. And since we had the Stealth World Defender's army, I use the stakes up here, some bed stones over there, and the barricade over here to protect uh, the um, well the skirmishers. General is behind the I think uh, the ballistas, yeah. And the, I use the standard rounds at the beginning because Usually the explosive rounds are not very um, accurate, and for the first rounds, I feel like these ammunitions are a bit more effective than these ones for the kills. So this is pretty much why I use it. And since we are defending, well, they are charging at us anyway. And usually when they have ballistas, they, are, they, are, they will all start running, and they should be tired once they will be here. So the, point, the objective is probably to stay here, kind of just use a charge, then farm up you have a better defense stats. So they should be about to receive the first rounds. Yeah. Technically. There we go. We'll start uh, running. Uh... Oh, we got a few seniors. That's good. We don't have any cavalry, so we'll need to try to focus with the archers, uh, the, the seniors, if we can. Yeah, I actually forgot to the gold the guard mode. With the range units. Alright. 
we just have to wait at this point. We can advance a little bit because, well, it's just a surgery at this point. Alright, it's time to go. Archers should be about to throw their first volleys. I guess we can switch the ammunition at this point. There we go. Cavalry are taking the first hits. I think these guys will go immediately in the screen shield. We'll try to make them attack us and kind of surround us so that they will get exposed to the ammunition. Got some over here. And then they got stuck a little bit into the, uh, the stakes. This is good. Yes, this army or unit can turn around. So far, so good. It's actually a good thing that they are going this way instead of kind of charging that flank. Alright, we will target the seniors with the artillery. And we got the general unit too, that's good. Cavalry over here should get destroyed. Yeah. Guardians are not too good for them. They get thrown off uh, the horse. That's pretty good. Good, good, good. Alright, let's use the spears over here to help. We'll use also the cavalry counter tactics. I don't even know if... Yeah, that's not you. That's pointless. Let's bring back the spears. Alright. Let's try to inspire these guys. At least you will have a better defense stat. It's already probably very good. Let's see the units. Uh, 124 is very good. And it's certainly like rank 2. That's pretty good. Wiseman, not very stressful. We will just wait a little bit. Actually, let's pull back a little bit so that we will charge around here. And so that will be in the range of the skirmishers to support. Let's form up a little bit uh, the tighter formation. Time to turn around. But oh, they actually stopped their charge before us. We didn't receive the, the javelins. Right, very good. Just wait a little bit and form up. I'm sure it's time to flank. Come over here. We will probably attack over here, over there. Okay, never mind, cancel. I was afraid that they will push in the middle. Alright, so far so good. Let's push over here. Alright, Linears will kind of do some crossfire. Or actually, we'll start to get rid of the skirmishers. Spears will probably need some help at some point. It's gonna be a very flank over here. All that terrain can support now. They're all units. We can inspire again. Ballista. Are they out of ammunition? Yeah. Okay, that's good. Alright, our protests around the air got stuck. Butchers over here will need some support. We kind of used that view now because I feel like it's needed. Oh, we can actually use uh, the ability. Over here. Let's come show Try to push. Let's farm up to have better shield strength. Now we need to be careful with the old sworn. We'll probably charge. Some skirmishers go there. Actually, both of them. We'll flank the general quickly. Go, let's go, let's go. Warm up for the defense. Alright, very good. Oh, we really need some support over there. And they are starting to reach over there. That big fun of that. Hopefully they will be shaken and die soon. I guess we'll bring the general at this point. 
we need some reinforcements over there. Build us, disengage. We're here with 200 retain, so let's charge. The general should die soon. The general get kind of targeted over here by the Jamishuris. The seniors? Yes, the seniors. Alright, let's bring in, let's go in. Point us to die over here. Well, I lose a lot of them over here. Then, let's close the door behind the, the seniors. They did a fantastic job to get rid of the general over there. Alright, let's chase them down. And they should crumble over there. Alright. We'll engage into melee over here. Seniors have no chance in that fight. Good, let's continue and maybe we can support over there. Yeah, those on swordsmen are quite good. Turn around and support. Come on, come on. What are you doing? Let's warm up. We'll have one nice volley over there. Excellent. You should break uh, almost immediately at this point. There's the last one. And this is it. Nice little bit over there. Our losses are not too bad, about 800 for 2600. Or 3000, it's not too. Pretty good. So that settlement should be ours uh, next turn. Alright, so no unit was lost into that battle, and they have very few units, units left to defend. Uh, I think we will raise them for the money. We are still kind of tight on the money, since I spent a whole bunch of money to bring uh, an ally into war. Alright, good. Military traditions. So let's use this right now. Um... Alright, that should do. On this short word armed unit though. So maybe not. Can we have something better? This is for light infantry, so the skirmishers mostly. And speed also. Well the bonus 25% is is 24% is very good. I think we'll go for no no no. I'm oh, sorry, I have no idea what that'll take. I guess we'll go for the unrelating forces. Um we can have a bonus 18% full tier on the company map movement, bonus 12% on the charge, and some moral. So that could be quite useful. Yeah. Or some uh, indomitable, indomitable infantry, bonus 12% on the melee attack and defense, that could be very good too, but I think we'll take the movement. Let's be a bit quicker. I feel like our infantry are doing kind of okay for now, so let's keep going. And... Both army will support that siege, well, that big battle. They have a new general, so good for them. Anyway, they will die either way, and we will finally put our hand on some iron. That should be a pretty good addition for us. That's a good fight. Excellent. And what do they have? Yeah, it's the shield maker, that's perfect. Bonus 10% on armor and shield. This is excellent for us. And we'll... We will we want to immediately upgrade these troops. We will wait a little bit. And kind of focus on the most important troops. Over here we'll do some trade to bring uh, some infantry in. Uh, some uh, cavalry in that army. So let's switch a little bit. One, two, three. That's decent. And... I guess it will be for some... Actually we switch for... Kind of healthy troops. So for three swords. Uh, three swords. Three spears. Sorry about that. Alright, next turn will be good to move. Can we have an edict? No, not yet. But it's still the same color. We, st we won't have to convert that building, so this is good. And money, money, money. We can invest a little bit. Like over here. We could have noble horsemen. Which... Uh, which won't suck. So, good. We spent already all the money. 
but Noble Horseman will be a very good addition for our war formations. These guys told us that they will move, they didn't, so that's a bit annoying. The Armenians are still starving, hopefully they will find a better build. Not too sure, maybe it's because of a spy. Actually, you know they have uh, buildings that, that need a lot of supplies. Anyway, we will replenish a little bit over here. Let's fortify so it will be even better. All the way down south into Greece. Yes, we could. Next. Well, money is very tight, actually. Not too sure why. But one money will be a little bit better with a raise of second army. Uh, and bring some uh, some spears so that we can spread some archers in both armies. And it should be a much better composition for us to go against the Greeks. Alright, someone apparently died. Can we recruit some someone's good? Yes you because why not? Cultural conversion is always a good addition. And let's go with the the swords. As usual. But that's good, that's what causes. Excellent. I think that army we will uh, upgrade at some point. Because the Greeks will be probably the better troops that will fight so so far almost. Like Eastern Spearmans are not really a challenge for us. And we have a bit of money, so I think we will raise a few spears. Is that the queen? Who's that? Politician. Okay, I don't care. You should do the trick, so let's raise him. Words also. There we go. In the settlements. Purple color is starting to be uh, much better. And let's upgrade. Uh, upgrade. Recruit a few AV Spears. There we go. There run the money. I think we could push in the in this area since uh, Well, we have two armies over there just chilling. And this will be a good, I think, geo-strategic position for us to hold. Kind of the choke point to from all of these areas. They all convert over here. So that could be good for us to hold and from there we can run for us over here or over there. I think that will be good for us to take. But this maybe this will bring us in at war with these guys. So yeah. We'll wait a little bit for to be fully replenished. These guys are pretty healthy, so let's go in. And they are all starving and very weak, I think. Even the garrison? Even the garrison, so that army should be able to swipe all of them. That's actually very good. Alright, we'll just wait over here with that army. Yeah, public order is not fantastic over there. I kind of missed something. The food is very good, so let's dismantle this. And we can have the noble horses over there. Oh, that's, that's actually very good. Okay. Anyway, let's dismantle the food so that we can build some. Uh... So, you know, sorry. We will convert this for that and we will dismantle that to build the. in the capital, the. cultural building. Our hero over here can be upgraded or champion. I'm not sure what they are. Yeah, champion. And we have something good that we can have. But that will upgrade. Oh, we can upgrade this. Alright, that will do. And that army is probably good to move now. Yes, it is. So, let's move. And next next turn we'll reach. And we'll probably have a nice battle over there. So we will uh, sack uh, Gabala again, or... I don't remember the name of the Slaman. Spartans are doing good in this campaign. Kind of nice. Oh, Sardas actually took uh, Bithynia. That's interesting. Oh, 
All right, mission issued. Uh, we need to raid these guys, so I don't see any trouble with that. Oh, just like that, we got 500, so we can just say never mind and continue. All right, we'll do that, and that will be a nice battle. And we have some cavalry, so that will be interesting. So let's attack. All right, so we are pretty much ready to go. We have some cavalry in the woods, and I move forward our formation over there, over here. So we have spears, and then up front we have the hillmen that will act as the ammunition magnet. Will really be the, the mid shield of this battle. Behind we have a whole bunch of pelotas, and we should be able to deal with the skirmishers. We they only have one unit of cavalry um, of our archers. So we'll use our auxiliary armored or archers to kind of attack the flank and they will probably rush towards our formation at this point. The general, uh, which is just a noble horseman, they are chilling over there in the woods to stay hidden. And that's pretty much it. We'll just go around and kind of use uh, a few abilities, I guess, to... I guess we could use the AV shots. We can harass them a little bit. And are kind of... They're kind of running away, so that's good for us. They have some more archers though, so we need to be a little bit careful of that cavalry unit. And they do have some plenty of seniors too, so... Alright, they will now start to move. Let's try to take advantage of this. We'll kill a few by the time that they reach our front line. What are they? Seniors, alright. They should be about to attack us. Alright, let's go away. And they also have a kind of good um, media attack. 49 is very decent for actually our soldiers. Defense is not too good, I think it's 29, 23, something like that. Yeah, 23. So it's not very good for defense, but for charging and just run away, kind of okay. I guess we go for our standard ammunition so that we can have a bit more range. Uh, I think we'll just meet them head on. Let's go there, can we go away? Alright, we dodge a few. That's good. Those commissioners over there will melt. Alright. Let's go there. Turn around and attack those commissioners. We really need to get rid of them. Over here we'll just kind of charge the, the spears over there. Alright, we'll wait with that unit. Here it should be good. Alright, very good. We're pretty much set, so we can go around with the, the horse archers. Yeah, the ailmen are not liking the initial assault. That's fine. Not like that we care about them. Farm up over here. There are two. Excellent. General, let's get out of here. There's no much threat over here. And by the time we reach, these commissars should be done. Alright, let's take all the abilities and start moving around. Alright, I think we'll just go there. That's a nice place to be. And let's activate the Antibrian Circle. This range should be good. Would have increased uh, just by 8 minutes. And with the, all of these uh, heavy shots, it should be, should be good. We really won't engage with these guys. Alright, that's pretty good. We'll just wait there. Alright. The general unit can charge in this, into this spearman. I don't. Uh, they won't do much resistance for us. One of our units has used all its ammunition. I think it's this guy, so it's fine. Perfect time to attack. We'll also inspire ourselves. Charge should be very good. A whole bunch of the of them should be dying, and they will probably break soon. Actually, will be a very good charge.
Alright. We'll just wait for the ability to end. I think he did it, but with that deck is still very good. I think we'll just end the fight. We'll be able to break these guys. Very good. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Just break. Alright, never mind. Turn around and charge. Since they are not bracing, she'll be. She'll help a little bit. Let's disengage. A bit too much spears now. And we didn't really have a good charge. Right, that's very good. Let's engage the spears too. Alright, time to charge. I totally forgot about the, the horses over there. I think we'll go for the archers at this point. Alright, one, one unit should do. Oh, actually, totally you forgot about the, the general unit. Let's get out of here. Alright, should be good. That's the cavalry unit. Alright, blood cavalry is not too bad. One of our units has used all its ammunition. I don't know what I clicked on, but it'll be good. Cavalry, let's go and hunt some people. And our front line uh, pretty much win that fight. They're winning, yeah. I think we'll bring some spears over here to help. One, let's keep running. Just need to get to the general unit. Alright, very good. And with uh, the, that ability, the general should die uh, pretty quickly. Yeah, they are falling. Good. Excellent. Let's target the skirmishers. With the regular ammunition, we'll have a bit more range. There we go. Excellent. They are dealt with. Let's kill them. And since it was a settlement, they will all die anyway. There we go. We can sack them again. Oh, Gabala. He is getting sacked. Alright. We can retreat again. Well, apparently not really. Is it because they have some... yeah. Because they are not totally dead. Well, let's bring the siege. Excellent. Now we can go away. We'll stay in regular stance. Can this been the the hillman and recruit another one? There we go. Over there we can. I guess we can start them, but actually it should be I think better for us to go here since they won't raise any big army soon over there. But at least over there we should have a nice sight if they bring some reinforcements or something like that. And not every army are starving over here, so I think these guys will be good to attack. I think. Let's just see the Armenians, or uh, how they feel, actually. Are they at war with someone? Yeah, they are at war with them. So that's good. And with Repuzzles too. So that's not too good, though. Okay, that's actually Repuzzles. I thought it was the Armenians. Okay, but well, we'll see what, what will happen with them. Anyway. Army is pretty much... Uh, we've done what we could do. Let's upgrade these troops. And um, maybe we can see a little bit what they have. But before we will just take a few archers. Maybe uh, one ballista too. Actually we'll let them there. So they will be the besiegers. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Five on each army should do. Get more spears. Actually, yeah, over here we'll start by feeding that army. Alright, can we recruit some cavalry? Yeah, we can actually. We don't have a whole bunch of money, so I guess we'll just recruit regular, regular troops instead. Alright, that will do the trick. 
We don't really need the, the fleet at this point. So let's disband, the, disband these guys. It'll save us a few hundred. Yeah, there we go. So when we'll attack, we'll recruit some uh, mercenary cavalry because cavalry will be necessary. Just to secure uh, the skirmishers and stuff. That army over here. I guess we'll bring the second one. Just to help a little, a little bit. Excellent. Time to attack. Actually, let's do better. We'll attack these guys. Oh. We'll see if they stay there. Not really, so anyway. We'll attack. They're all started up. I don't know if this is a thing or not, but you get what I mean. And just like that, they died. We'll occupy. Just to hold that position, like I, I said. Over here, we'll have a rebellion pretty much soon. I guess we'll go over here. So that we'll be in range from each settlement. Now, over here, we'll have to deal with these guys. So let's upgrade our troops. Maybe these guys first. That's a lot of money. Not sure what they have. I live to serve my people. Go there, hide. Is the garrison decent? It's a quite, it's quite a good garrison. So, if we can ambush them, it will be thirty in an ambush against twenty. So we should have a good result, and then we'll be able to push and conquer that settlement. And then we'll only have to deal with Korya. And hopefully they have the weapons so that we can, we can have the pointy spears. We're here. We have a tradition. This is good. Not well defenders. Classic. And over here, gonna have a strategist to eventually add tactician and some research. That should do the trick. Hopefully, we have some allies that will go push and take that uh, Arden settlement that we are keeping raiding. Ah, oh, they're bringing more troops again. I guess it's just because the, uh, there's a settlement between both of them and they don't want to go across on it. A neutral faction settlement. So maybe I'll have no choice to break treaties and conquer them to make uh, our allies useful. It's accepted. Alright. Well there it is. We can have a nice battle. And I think yes, in the time it will be in the next part. So in the next part we'll have a nice little battle over here. Start this up and we'll keep pushing over the, the Alps. To, well, to expand a little bit our control and it should bring us a little bit of money to finance that war that will go against the Greeks. So I'll thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next one.